everybody! Welcome back to Thrift Witch. I have another haul video. It's kind of a theme. It's kind of what the channel is all about. Um, we have a friend here who's helping us out with the wrapping paper, Eugene. Eugene! He also got, uh, you might have seen the video where Swizzle got her haircut. Eugene also got his haircut at the same time. Um, we're really lucky to have a local business called Purdy Paws. They have a mobile um, grooming van and they come to the house and they take him out looking terrible and smelling like a kitty and comes back in looking amazing and smelling like strawberries. So, all right, on with the haul. Um, just a few items again in this haul that we'll go through and a couple grab bags that we'll go through. So first off, I bought this little pink piece for myself. It is older. Um, I don't really know what it would have been intended for when it was made. It's got this quilted pattern. It doesn't have a maker's mark. It has a signature on the bottom. Uh, and I'm gonna put it with my other pink pottery pieces. Definitely got some age, or at the very least was stored in a place where it got dirty easily. Next are a couple of more modern, um, they're not super vintage little elephant planters, but I picked these up because people love them and they snap them up. So here's a little heart-shaped planter with an elephant. And then this one is round and he has a little elephant too. And I think the sticker says made in China. But again, you know, I just, these are popular, people like them. I've had a couple other ones, not with elephants, but with another other animals on them. This is a vintage piece. It looks like a head vase um, in shape. So a head vase is usually a woman's face and hat. And on top, it's usually open. And that's why it's called a head vase. This one um, is smaller. You can see it fits in my hand and how much she was. <laughs> and she's got slots at the back and she hangs. So I'm not really sure what her intention was, but she would fit in nicely with someone's um, head vase collection. She's this nice kind of celadon green hat on. Um, and so I, I picked her up, even though her cold painted lips are a little frayed. Her lipstick's a little smudged. Here is a Wonder Woman um, glass. You can see the information there. I like these fun pop, poppy glasses and the, the condition of the graphics is quite nice. It's clearly hasn't been put through the dishwasher too many times. Next, a pretty big piece of needlework, um, vintage, really well framed. People who did these took the time and effort and expense to have them framed profes professionally. And you know, this piece of needlework of cross stitch would have taken quite a few hours to complete. It's not terribly complex, but it's, you know, it's complex enough that I would say there's many, many hours of work in it. Uh, and it was framed professionally and then it ends up at the thrift store. So we kind of like to save these pieces. And there are people who collect needlework and the bold pinks and, and uh, reds and blues in this, I thought were really nice. Uh, a couple other pieces of artwork from this trip are two matador paintings on velvet. I have to research these. Some of these were tourist art that came back from Mexico. Um, these two are in really nice wooden frames, well matted, excellent condition. Um, so I have to figure out maybe sort of where I think they might have been made. Um, and they're just that kitschy stuff that people are collecting now. This guy here, I think is, you know, pan, literally, cause he's pan, playing a pan flute. He's big, he's ugly. Um, he was done in the 1970s. He's in pretty nice shape. He's one of those things where you think this is either going to sit in the booth for 10 years or be snapped up immediately by somebody because he's just got that weird quality. You know, someone's going to come in and go, I need that thing in my life. And they can have him when they get there. He looks a little evil, which I think is probably the idea. All right, and a couple grab bags from the wall. Um, often the best deals to be had are in the grab bags, but it's a crapshoot because it can be really hard to tell what the condition is. So this bag only had four things in it and I, I was able to figure out what they were pretty easily and that they were in nice shape. There are two vintage Japan marked 
I'm going to call these Cupid style figurines. I don't, they are definitely not the official Cupid dolls, but they have that bald head and those eyes. Really sweet little pair, both in excellent condition, just a little bit of paint flaking. Also in here were a couple of Bisky, Bisque just feels weird on your hand. Burks, Japan marked, boy angel and a girl angel kissing. So I've already had these out of the bag, I, I will confess. So I know that they're in good condition. And I, I really wanted the bag for these, but was lucky enough to find these as well, which are a nice collectible for Christmas. Um, in this bag is some shakers, um, some singles, and I was hoping what I, the, the, what I saw in here was a pair of fish. Um, we'll take a look at those. So here's a single owl pepper. It says made in Taiwan. Um, a single um, lobster. He's sweet. Mark Japan. So vintage good age there. He's a cutie. A pair of puppy shakers. They're also in pretty good shape. Plastic stoppers but still they've got that cute kind of um, kind of home co and esco -y look and then these are what i was after in the bag they're a pair of japan marked um goldfish fancy goldfish so when i look through the through the plastic they look to be in really good shape Unfortunately, I think this guy here has a little paint flake on his fin. See it here? So that's too bad, but they're still, I st I'm still happy I got them. I think they're a really cute set of shakers. So in that bag, um, puppy shakers, fish shakers, and a couple singles. Okay. And then the last bag, which I haven't opened, but it only has one thing in it is a Tanala or Mexican pottery, probably, um, I think. Maybe we'll get them and we'll look at them. Maybe not. Is he pottery? He's heavy. I to do this with one hand. Now I know what all those YouTubers who go to the store and carry a camera are going through. There we go, buddy. So I think he's a hippo. Pretty sure he's a hippo. And... I don't, I don't know if he's resin or ceramic or what he is. He's kind of heavy, so I'm going to take back my call on it being Tanala pottery because I, I don't think it is. I ha There's a piece of Tanala pottery. I'll, you've seen it. You don't even need to get up and go over there. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what this little hippo is made out of, but I still think he's cute and desirable with that elephant on the side. So, yeah everything from this little haul um, and like I said I'm gonna try from now on to open the bags um, that we get during the haul video so you can kind of see along with us what what we're finding um, and that's everything in this video Eugene has departed to greener pastures uh, if you have any questions or comments or just want to drop us a line please comment on the video you can find us on Instagram at Canada underscore thrift underscore witch uh, and yeah thanks for watching